Hello and welcome to Lobichit Gaming. So over the last week or so, we've heard a lot of talk about Bethesda being acquired by Microsoft and the games coming on Xbox. I wanted to discuss about that and of course talk about the Xbox Game Pass itself because now with the addition of all the Bethesda games as you can see here, it has kind of become a must-have service in my opinion now because there are so many good games available and for cheap as well that getting a monthly subscription whether you are on pc or if you are on console if you want to get both the ultimate version it kind of makes sense because if you are not hardcore into some games you can pick the subscription they still have the 50 rupees or the one dollar a month service as well like for the first time if you get that and you pay only one dollar for the first month and then you pay the five dollars a month this is not a bad service because have a look at this we got doom the original doom we have doom 64 doom 2 doom 3 now recently um i saw a video by i think lgr or someone and i wanted to play doom 3 because this is one of the games that i did not get uh, to play when it first came out and i was curious to see how it was different because this was a little different to your standard doom game it came out in the early 2000s and i put it on my wish list on steam and i thought i'll pick it up when i get a chance but now it's here on the Xbox Game Pass. We also have Doom Eternal is here, the brand new game. This is quite expensive and not well priced recently. Fallout 4 was alright, I guess I played quite a bit of it. This was good. Fallout 76, I haven't bought, I don't know what state it is in. Then you also have stuff like Prey, very well received. Dishonored 2, probably one of the best new IPs from the last 10 years. Evil Within, Wolfenstein, Youngblood. Now this Youngblood game, this is one of those games that I hear a lot of bad things about. I would be hesitant to try this myself like buy it but if it's on the game pass I can definitely give it a go rage 2 of course rage 2 was given away free on epic not too long ago Skyrim I'm one of those rare few people who hasn't played Skyrim so yeah there's Skyrim as well um, Wolfenstein New Order I have played this one this is good old blood um, it's the new Colossus here as well it probably is Dishonored, the first game, the definitive edition is here. Morrowind, Oblivion. So yeah, just these are just the Bethesda AAA games. Like so many of them at the same time. Oh my God, this is insane. Then you also have things like Gears 5, Wasteland 3. Again, brand new games that come up on day one. Desperados 3. You have indie gems like Streets of Rage 4. Uh, of course, Microsoft's own games. You have Ports of Horizon 4, Halo 3, Flight Simulator. For the seven, all the other Halo games, you have indie gems again like Descenders, you have Ark, Survival Evolved, State of Decay, Age of Empires, Sea of Thieves, so many games, and you can get access to this for one dollar, starting from one dollar a month. So yeah, it's it's getting to a point where in the past we used to stand outside stores and buy physical games and you know trade games. I have bought like second hand games from stores. Um then we got licenses to games digitally on places like steam and now we are just getting a rent this is like a rental service it's like a subscription to play the game for a short while and if i'm honest initially i was against the idea like internally I, I do want to own the games and have them but as i've grown older i kind of don't mind this i mean play a little bit play the games you want like doom 3 where is doom 3 literally here yeah, Doom 3. I put it on my wish list and if it's on sale it's probably very cheap but when it's not on sale it's about the same price as a month's subscription to this Game Pass thing. So if you just for example for me if I just wanted to play this I could get the subscription play this if I don't like it I have many other options as well try out and play. If I buy it on Steam I don't like it I have to refund it either within the two hours or it's there sitting after playing for a little bit. So, yeah, I mean, I'm seriously thinking now that going forward, this is a must-have service now. Um, like, even now, it is a must-have service. And, yeah, I just wanted to talk about this and wanted to ask your thoughts on this because are you still one of those people who prefer owning your games, like, physically, having the collection, this? Me, I've, I'm someone who keeps moving around. I've never stood still in my life. I've, I've had a nomadic life. I've never really lived in a single house for more than five, six years. That's been my story. So 
moving your collection and getting rid of unnecessary things is convenient for someone like me. Now I do hope to settle down and you know live in a house but there's always something that comes up in my life that makes uh, forces me to move. So having digital stuff and not having to like pack everything and then worry about getting lost or broken or damaged in shipping because my PC got damaged when I moved from the UK back to India and I had to buy a new graphics card. Luckily that was the only thing that got damaged. I think the power supply was nice one. But everything else was fine. I had to pay a lot of customs for uh, you know getting my PlayStation key. So those things hurt. I had uh, donated all my books like the physical books I had in the UK charity and my intention was I'll get a Kindle or something and then um, get the digital versions and I can see the point of that now. You can carry everything with yourself. So you can do the same with games like you have your Steam accounts, your Microsoft account, your PlayStation account, whatever else you have, and just move around, install it in a new system. And this is another one of those things where you can get the games on the go. Now with cloud gaming coming up and then with the GeForce thing, it is getting very interesting where you have more choice and more accessibility for your games and also affordable as well, in my opinion, without all the sort of issues of installing everything and having everything ready and all of that. So yeah, um, I was very skeptical and I did not understand how Microsoft was going to make money out of this, but it seems to be working. Their main focus seems to be about Game Pass now. It's less about console exclusivity and selling games and selling consoles. It's all about Game Pass. And they are kind of winning, I would say, with this. Anyway, just had this in my head and wanted to you know chat about this let me know what you think and if you are subscribed to this my subscription just ended the one where it had uh, three months for one dollar so I was looking at maybe getting another one just to try out uh, Doom 3 or perhaps if it's on sale or steam I might just get it but yeah uh, yeah just wanted to chat let me know and thank you for watching see you next time